I think it's always good to, to win a, a, a final. Um, I think that's one thing that we, you know, it happens at Celtic, you tend to be prepared to win things. There's no shame in that. Okay, first and foremost, the development is developing young players, and that will always be the, the, the kind of our, our, what we're looking to do. But, I mean, going along with that, then you need to learn to win things. You need to learn to play in front of 60,000 fans at Celtic Park. You need to be able to handle the pressure. You know, we're a big club. Teams love to beat us. But at the same time, you know, they need to develop that way as well. So, um, it's great. I'm really pleased for the players because throughout the whole tournament, they've been, they've been excellent. They've been exceptional. Some of the stuff, and I'm even you know, talking to a lot of people that are neutrals in other clubs, just saying, you know, we play in the right manner. You know, we're creative, we're imaginative. We play the Celtic way, and that is really important for us. And how worthwhile has this whole tournament been for you guys? Well, the same as last year. You know, it's really well organised and, you know, I can only thank, you know, uh, Emma for that, you know, Emma Hunter for doing that, you know, and, and obviously the Sports Village. You know, the way they've put things together, it's, it's, a, it's a good start for our pre-season. You know, we've got other games coming up, but it, it fits in well to the calendar, um, even more so now because of the Commonwealth Games. You know, it's really difficult to get near Celtic Park, but take that away, take nothing away from it. It's a well-organised tournament. You know, over the course of the five days, we get five games. You know, it's sometimes hard to replicate that. So, and we've got a good squad in which you keep them fit, keep them injury free, then you get a lot of benefits from it. Do you hope to be back here next year? We certainly do, yeah. Uh, we certainly do. We'd like to come on and defend it for a third time if we can do that. You were talking about playing in front of 60,000 fans and having to prepare that. When boys like Tony Watts are scoring against Barcelona and Callum McGregor are scoring in the Champions League last week, how, how much inspiration can you get from that? Yeah, I mean, people tend to forget the number of young players that Celtic come through. And they also tend to forget the number of young players in Scotland and they will outline areas that other clubs have benefited from through the academy, from, from that have come from Celtic's academy. You know, it's an enormous amount. I think, in, I think the stats are it's, the, it's the, the, the most number of young players from any club in Scotland. Uh, but when you see Callum coming through, Tony Watt scoring against Barcelona, you know, when you can see things like Callum scoring the winning goal, then it's great, it's great for everybody in the academy. They'll get an opportunity, they just need to be a wee bit patient. Okay, thanks, Tommy. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Thank you.